Hello and welcome to episode three, season three of Building FC St. Pauli. As always, thanks for joining me. Make sure you do other good stuff. You know what that is by now. Uh, firstly, I want to apologise. I've had quite a few days off. You might know if you watched the last episode was going out on the Saturday. You know, I'm 43 years old and uh, first night in ages went out with all my friends. Even bumped into the wife late on in the night and I think we all thought we were 21. Didn't get to sleep till 7am. So I was recovering from that. Uh, I think my immune system took a beating and I've been pretty poorly for a few days. So I've been playing football manager. I've, I've played this. I've set up a OAP FC episode as well. Um, apart from that, I've just been sleeping. I've been at work, although I've been dying on my ass. But anyway, we're here now, finally, for the third season. And I've had a lot of fun, although I did fall asleep quite a lot, especially in a few games where you wake up at the end of the match like that. The whole second half played out without me. So, you know, results could have been better. They could have been worse. You never know. But we're going to go through the season together. So what did I go up to? First up, though, an update on the expansion of the stadium. They were going to spend a ton of money bumping it up to a 35,000 capacity. Cancelled it right at the very freaking end. What? So annoyed with that. Can't lie. Also, this season, we've got money. We could um, improve the facilities. They won't have it. They do eventually, around April-ish. But they will not have it. They will not improve it. And it's very annoying. So now we'll move over to the finances. And all my deals have happened. I only brought four players in. Quite a few left. Some of the three, you know. And we're not going to go through them. I can't be bothered. Um, but I did raise £5 million. Pounds. woo And I spent 24 Not in one complete lump sum. Some of it's been broken down. Especially with one player. And... Um, I've promoted a young player. Some of them are too young. They won't can't play in the squad. But they will get chances. And I think I'm going to do that. This this build might take long in a way. Longer than maybe Venezia. Because I do want to bring some of them through. And try and do something with them. Whilst also trying to sign good young players myself. But it's a lot harder than with Venezia. Venezia, we, I had a bit of luck, didn't I? Signing a couple of cool players early. Picking up some awesome frees quite early. Winning some trophies and it snowballed really. This is a lot harder, but I quite like that. Hopefully you do too. So I like that challenge. We might never win anything. We might only win one thing. You never know, but it's a different thing. And I was really happy about that. Cause you don't want to have the same process over and over again. I didn't want it to be a complete mirror image of maybe Venezia. I wanted it to be different and it is. And I'm really enjoying that challenge. I'm looking forward to the next season where I'm not dying on my ass hung over or poorly can really focus on it but I did enjoy playing it from what I remember so first up we've got Cesar Gelabert he's been around the block a bit Real Madrid player signed on a free 22 years old he's really an AMC but he will be playing for me on that left wing and cover on the right wing absolute freebie right big clubs wanted him and he chose us, chose us got flair can dribble has got technique he could really improve a great player for us especially when he was free. Oh, uh, Katabak. I've had him before on Summit. Can't remember what. Um, it's cost me 8 million. 8.25 million spread out from Colm. Um, good little player. Very handy player. Coming in mainly as a left back, but he will play wherever I need him to play. All right, I can't sign Lorenzo Luca. Well, I'm going to sign Felix Agu. I did have him at Venezia. Uh, we had him on loan and ended up signing, but then we, we kicked on too much for him really and, to, and he moved on. But for us right now, a club like this, this player is absolutely perfect for us and he's not cost a ton of money. He can play left back, he can play right back. I know how good he is. So yeah, I'm very happy to have him. So after spending 7.25 million on Felix, I then spent 9.75 on Dennis Giger. German dudes out there, you're going to laugh at me, I know. Um, to help out in the midfield and there's no great freebies. Um, there's no really great players I wanted to push the ball out for it is what it is sometimes you just can't get what you want I think we need to really have a great season hopefully maybe it's European football that would take us on to that next level but can we get that it's a process be patient so we have two youth players promoted the first one is Ali Kaká 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 who it says he's a striker but yeah that finishing is atrocious but you know he's a good potential player one of our own um, he's going to come in, learn from the boys, maybe get a game, maybe. I also promoted uh, Flammer Aziri. 
What? Um, he's not great either. Um, both of these two lads will be playing for St. Pauli too, although they are in the first team squad. Um, but yeah, we've got loads of 16 year olds, 15 year olds. Next year is going to be their year. I've got a centre half who I would have had as my fourth choice centre back this year. I would have. My squad's only 21 man with a couple of kids, so you know it's light. But my wage bill, right? I've wrote this down. It's only 32 million a year, which is shit ton. I won't mind 32 million in my bank, but it's only 32 million a year. Now you compare that to Bayern Munich's, who's his 224 million. You can see the difference, but then you compare Bayern to everyone else. I had a quick look. Dortmund's is 105. So it's half of Bayern's. And uh, Red Bull Leipzig, who are the next biggest teams, is only 88 million. So, I mean, Bayern Munich are leaps and bounds. When you're paying that kind of money a year, you should be winning everything. So we are miles off. I don't generally think I'll ever win the Bundesliga with this team. I don't know. You don't know, do you? I need things to go my way, I suppose. But, um, like I said, Paul Cal or something. I want to get into Europe. I think that would be fantastic. Um, but this squad itself is decent. Now, obviously, some guys have left. I will say now, me right back of all that experience. He is a good player. Last year of his contract, he doesn't sign. He's going to leave at the end of the year. Um, but I've got good players. He's not leaving. He's got a bid in at the minute. He ain't going anywhere. But what I've got is that German corner, quite like that. So if we look at that, look. Look at all them German flags. If we change the age, they're all young. Um, so Sean Morrison, it'll be his last year. He's going to be leaving. I will be selling him on next year. He'll be leaving, right? So I've got a spots to fill, but I'm hoping we can keep building that money, building that money. I'm going to try my hardest this year to really kick us on in the summer of next year, if you know what I mean. Um, Patrick Roberts, been great for me. Only 26. So there's a lot of youth here, a lot of development, a lot of, a lot of hope. But was it going to be enough this season? Well, Bucky that fancy us at all. I think we actually looked on less than we were last year. But I don't care about that. I believe in this team and they are becoming a team in my eyes. And I'm under zero pressure to do anything special to stay in the league just avoid relegation um, Paul Cowles gets to the third round they're happy with that so yeah I'm alright with that I just I know sometimes it's cool with Venezia uh, or saves like that where you get success after a couple of years and it snowballs into loads of trophies loads of victories all that good stuff but it can't always be that way I know some of you like one way I know some of you like the other way so you guys that are in this for the long haul yeah strap yourselves in get comfy get a pillow and a drink because we're going to be here a while <laughs> now we're not going to look specifically at every single player but i'll watch you some of my key players starting off with jan thielman the 21 year old german i think had a great year i'm hoping for a bigger year he, he has definitely got better young player i didn't know much about got him on a minimum fee um still can grow get better and better and hopefully we can make him better and um, so yeah i was hoping for a big season want more goals this lad i think is brilliant and this is Part of forming that core, uh, Felix. I just call him Felix. Uh, he's 25 years old, so he's not he's not going to improve too much. But I think as a defender, he's a really really good player. So let's just crack on. First of January, and uh, we finished last season in ninth, and we are currently in ninth. Way better than what, than what the bookies think. Uh, won five, drawn six, lost six. Got 21 points. In touching distance of Europe, could it happen? But, you know, he's. Bay Munich dominate, don't they? I've said this on a million other German saves I've done over the years. They can have a moment where the Lewandowski's and this whole core leave and it doesn't always work out for them and they can have that dip and it's if you can capitalise at the right time. Now, I've done that with bigger teams. Or, uh, I don't know if I can do it with this team. But I love this team. I adore it. I think it's good. And I, I love this save. And these are the results so far in the Bundesliga. And it's, it's not been awesome. There's, there was times where we look good um, I mean we beat Borussia Dortmund 3-2 I mean that's not bad is it uh, we drew with Leipzig which is alright FC Bain gives a dick in the disappointing thing was we finally lost the derby away and got back into it at the end we're not going to look at the goals because we lost we're only ever going to review the goals of derbies when we've won so yeah I've not won for a bit either but like I said I'll be honest with you this half of the season was played out on the Sunday when I was dying on my ass on the couch and in bed. And I won't lie, there were times. <laughs> you might have done it yourself when you're half asleep or you, know, you kick off the second half and you're watching it and you're like this. And you wake up an hour later and it's the end of the screen. So luckily no one get injured or anything. And you're like, all right, I won. And you're like, all right, I got beat. And that is what it is, but it's still good. Um, it's not perfect. 
I see positives in this team and I see, I know what I can do with time. Now, I will be honest, what I've done is um, I have an A team and a B team. I do this a lot, I don't always mention it. Um, and if I click on my A team, you'll see I've pretty much just come through with what I think is my best team. What I personally think is my best team. Hoffman in net, him at right back who will be leaving. Uh, Lucas and Felix at centre half. Um, the other Felix at left back and bombing defensive midfield. These two lads, I mean, Finn Beck is a decent player. Robertson uh, sees on the left with the hand up top. Not much rotation. Um, I know. And I don't care. And I've got no idea who this guy is. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Uh, he's at the top of the yellow card list. Uh, I just saw his hair. <laughs> I love it. Over to the Paul Carlin at this point. Um, I'm in the third round. That's where they wanted me to be. We've had it pretty easy. A uh, 2 1 win against Stuttgart kickers. Um, and then some team from Munich, I'm guessing. Beat them 2 0. And I've got Botchum in the third round. This is this is a realistic trophy for us and something I would love to win with this club one day. Now financially, you know, money has dropped a bit, but you know, we're paying wages, the usual stuff. Um, I had money to spend, but I wasn't going to do anything in January. I just want to kick on with this team and try and grow them as much as possible. With a real focus, I think, at the end of this year to try and hopefully find the right kind of players to kick us on. To not be a mid table team, to not be expected to avoid relegation, to try and push that European spot maybe and um, because I think I can do that I believe I can do that and um, it's gonna be tough though but I like this this kind of challenge for me really excites me so let's now jump forward to the 1st of April and we're eighth eighth in the league on 40 points five points behind Stuttgart and that European spot uh, Jan Tillman is still the third highest goal scorer in the league I didn't mention that before but 20 goals very happy with that very happy with him this season I'm very happy with this little squad of mine I think it's a 21 man first team squad with two 17 year olds in it who aren't really playing um, so there's a lot of a lot of guys who are covering several positions but I like that and um, we're battling and I'm, I'm enjoying it 10 wins 10 draws uh, 8 losses so these are the results so far I've reversed the dates like I usually do and after that bad patch where we didn't win a game for 4 games we won 2 beating Freiburg and Mainz uh, Drew with Colm fair enough and then the second derby at our home we won. It was only 1-0, but we deserved it. Very happy. So should we watch that beautiful goal from Jan Tillman? I mean, it was nothing fancy, but nicked out of midfield by Geiger. Uh, Basti gets it, threads it through. Cheeky little finish. After that, though, we've only won two other games. One against Werder Bremen and one against Wolfsburg, which I both think are great. Drew with Dortmund, which I think is fantastic. Uh, this is the running, though. We've seen who the last game of the season is again. Frankfurt. That was the live com, wasn't it, I think, in the last episode. I don't know if it's going to be the live com in this episode, though. The live com won't be any pole cal final either, because we got knocked out in the third round by Botchum. Um, we should have won that game. I think we should have. It was very disappointing. I don't know how we didn't, but we didn't. Football's football. Now, because I am just focusing on what I think is my best team, a lot of players aren't playing, so there's going to be young players who aren't playing. There's a lot of guys I know who want to go aren't going to be playing. Like Joshua Zerki, the backup striker, hasn't had a sniff. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of changes, but hopefully I can make some money on some of these guys. We can save on some of the wages on these guys, maybe promote some more kids, find a few gems because I am scouting. I think I will be able to do that. I think if, I, if things go my way, I can get some good players in and maybe they won't be German but maybe I need to just not focus on that if I want to kick on forget the whole German thing because it doesn't always work out that way and you know get the best possible players I can and um, weirdly though on Venezia I kept finding you know good players older players coming towards the end of the contract right at the time I needed them weirdly on this one as I'm going through the season and I'm looking for guys who are coming towards the end of the contract I'm struggling to do that Maybe they're out there, they just don't want to play for me and uh, FC St. Pauli. But that's fine, there are good young players out there. So I am excited, but again, I think this summer's going to be a big summer, a big change around of players. But I've still got faith in this kid. I think he's good. I think he's definitely improved from last year. He scored more goals than he did last year. We just need to flesh this team out, not by Lorenzo Luca, who has found his way to Germany. 31 million they spent on him. 31 million. He's played four games and he hasn't scored for them. 
I got him for peanuts, didn't I? Because he got relegated at peas in that first season. And he's not, looks like he, I don't know, is he becoming the player he was? I don't think he will. I can turn him into a superstar. What a shame. What a shame. Hopefully he can uh, do okay and not score against me in the future. So we now jump forward to the 27th of April because I've picked this as the live con, mainly because the last game of the season is Frankfurt and I don't want to do that again. Um, and it's against Heidenheim, a team we've got kind of a connection with because we came up together and all that stuff. And they're below us in the league. Now, there's three games left to play and if I manage to win all three, that's nine points. But I am what? eight points off there, <laughs> off a European spot so that isn't going to happen and we're currently in ninth is exactly where we were last year so in a way we've had no real progression but I do feel like there is because I've got rid of a lot of the older guys I think I've got some good young players that's what I mean about this being a, a slow burner maybe so you know it's it's hit and miss with this team I mean we got beat off FC Bain in the last game I do not expect to win them ever um, I've got two home games and an away game left. Three games we could win. So we're going to have a live come now against Heidenheim at home on TV. And I'll play the last two games off camera. So with injuries and tiredness, this isn't my fully best team. Agu's not fully fit. He's played mostly at left back. He's got a right back. Um, and Basti is coming on for Roberts because he can't play either. But we still could do well. You, you don't know though. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's go. Here we are. At home. I'd like three points. Or pick up as many points as possible. Look, he's carrying an injury. He'll be all right. First half, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go off to a good start. Here's Bastien on the right. Finds Geiger. Crosses it in. Go oh. Right, corner ball. There we go. Can't say his name. Never been able to say his name. Yeah, I've got a few lads wanting new contracts, and they're going to get him. And normally, I go I just do him straight away. But I just think I want, I want to get to the end of the season and really assess each player a bit more maybe than I normally do. Go through each player. Do you What do you actually deserve? Maybe go through some of the better ones. Try and get rid of some of these minimum fees that some of them have got. Um, really write it down. Really assess it. Put a bit of work in. Here's Thielman. I mean, mathematically, we could still get into Europe with some kind of a fluke. I think it's going to happen. Not this year. There's always next year. Ooh. There's Basti with a corner. Oh, whips it. That's two headers he's ballooned over, isn't it? Right, Bast it with a cracking... Oh, come on. We're blowing chances here. We are definitely dominating this game. Here's Finn Becker. He's threaded it through to Jan. Go on, mate. No. How? Why? The approach into the first half of Goo is on his ass. I know, I know. I'm going to sort that out. I'm not doing it right now. Rude Van Nisselrooy. I love having Rude as my assistant. So it's half time and they've had three shots, but there's not been one as a highlight, so they couldn't have been any good. We have dominated this. Dominated it. And that's happened a few times. Just can't put that game to bed. We need to put it to bed. So yes, yeah, Saturday night was brill. I mean, I was very lucky and I didn't appreciate it as a youth to grow up on a street with like eight lads all the same age, give a year or two over there. You know, life goes on, we're all old and um, getting us all out at the same time hasn't happened for a very long time. I can't remember when it did. Probably a wedding or something 10 years ago. And um, there's always someone who misses out because you know one of, I've got one mate lives miles away kids all that stuff and um, piss off that's so undeserved all right Goose come off for the last half hour we've gone to attacking oh that first half we didn't capitalise this happens too much it happens too much with this team we'll get there slowly but surely uh, but yeah great night brilliant night to be fair really enjoyed it went to a uh, place called Glossop which is Quite a distance. Oh, great control. Just can't fucking put it in the net, can he? And then club, went to a club, stayed up, met the wife later with a, one of her mates. It's fine when you're out. It's a day after. And I mean, if I just went on a normal night out, it hurts. Pretending I'm 22 again. Killed me. Right, come on, boys. Come on. Get back into this. Here's Papa. That's oh, poor. Now I have changed it, my tactic as you can see, but they've not taken effect yet. Um, we're going at full on attacking now. Got rid of my defensive midfielder, set on the man up top. But we'll have to wait, see what happens after this highlight. So disappointing sometimes. Bit frustrating. Oh, look at the state of that. Now they're just wasting time, passing it around, badging about, wasting it, being patient, probing. Look at the state of this. Come on, boys. There we go. Right, come on. Let's do it. Here's Gilbert. He's moved centrally from the left. It's fine. He's come on. Oh, lovely. Come on, Jan. Time for you to shine. 
it's in. Can we nick it? Can we nick it? Come on, boys. Come on. Let's get a victory. That is Basti. Umbom, who's gone, who was defensive midfielder, is now playing at right back. <laughs> That's the thing with this squad. I've got quite a lot of variation with certain players. It kind of helps when you're a team like us. Um, can't lie, though. I am super excited for this summer, you know, now. I'm more thinking about it now, sat here. What I'm going to get up to. Can't wait. Hopefully, that all pays off eventually. Right, here's the bomb. What's he going to do? He's found Gilbert. Threads it through to Jan. Oh, oh, oh. 23rd goal of the season. Well, there you go. I think we definitely deserve to win that. When you look at the shots, it was just that period where they just scored that goal and we looked flat. Changed it up, as you can see. Moved and bomb there. Gilbert in, brought him on. He turned it on, scored two goals. Gotta love the parley. But it's this as well. Hamburg, game in hand, could go above us in the league. But with five points now off Stuttgart, could this happen? Well... I've got to go and play a few games. Right, so we played Augsburg away and I went for the attacking formation. It's making me think about stuff which I might talk about later. And we dominated. Let two goals in within two minutes at the end. But that was three points. Gets better. Because Hamburg won. Fair enough. But Stuttgart got beat 2-0. So, this is now about to be the last game of the season. We're at home to Frankfurt, who are battling out down there, could get relegated in that playoff. Stuttgart are at home to Maine, so they could win that. So this probably won't happen, that's what I'm trying to think about. But it could happen. Could happen. If Stuttgart, we need Stuttgart to lose and we need to win. Don't think a draw will be good enough because of goal difference. <gasps> so I'm going to play this now, we'll jump in at the end and let's fucking pray that we sneak in. I said the last 10 minutes, but we're going to jump in now. Because Stuttgart are getting beat 2-0, right? And we've just scored. We missed a penalty early doors. This, I think, is actually going to happen. It could happen. 2-0? They're getting beat 2-0 by Mainz. Come on, boys. Come on. We're full out attacking here. And I was, going, I was chasing that goal. And we've got our three points. And I'm pretty sure Stuttgart got beat. Have we done it? You never know with this stuff. Have we done it? Well, nearly. Nearly, as you can see, we're in that spot. But the Pokal final still has to be played. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Now, what I've loved and what I really need to think about is these last three games of the season because I switched to my attacking formation. We won that game against Heidenheim. We beat Augsburg and I've just beat Frankfurt playing more attacking football, really. More attacking formation. The formation I used with Dortmund on Project 23 and I've been sticking with that defensive one that was great with Venezia, but that's Italy. I think not only do I need to do a bit more rebuild and a bit more of a rethink with this team, but I think I need to go for that formation next year and start building the team around that instead because maybe it just suits the Bundesliga more, maybe it'll suit us more because that does not lie. That is awesome. But obviously, it's a Pokal final to be played and it's against Hoffenheim and FC Bayern. Now, Hoffenheim are in Bundesliga freaking two. How they got to the final? I'm dreaming of that Pokal, I can't tell any lies. So Bayern Munich need to do us a favour. They should not be losing that. They shouldn't be, should they? And here we are. Here we are. Oh! That's it, that's surely it, isn't it? Surely. I can't believe this, but it's generally happened. That turnaround at the end, stuck out and collapsing. Bayern Munich getting Hoffenheim in a final. Only beating them 1-0, which is pretty pathetic. Fair, but, you know, it is what it is. We've qualified for the Europa Conference League, the third division of Europe. That's going to be game-changing for us. That's a great competition for us. Oh, I could not be more excited. This is fucking took a turn for awesomeness. And it, I've jumped forward a little bit to the 1st of June just to show you Frankfurt beat Hoffenheim. So they've had a gutted end to their season, but I do not care. I thought this was going to be a flat season, same as last year. We finished around ninth, and it's all about moving on next year. But just that little tweak at the end made me think we've sneaked into European football. I, I, I honestly, this would give me a bigger buzz than winning a freaking trophy. So what a season that turned out to be at the end. The end of season three. Thank you for joining me. As you can tell, I am so happy. I love this game. I love how things can turn around and change. It's why we all play. It's why we all love it. And wow, it is hailing with a passion outside. Weather is atrocious. But who cares? Happy days for FC St. Paul. And thank you. 
for joining me. Thank you for being patient. We're having quite a few days off. Um, hopefully, OAP FC3 will be coming out. It's going to be a reimagined version. I've stuck a few more older players in the squad, um, and we're going to see. I've, I've forced them out to stay there for 20 years. The club's under a 20 year transfer embargo. I'm going to see how long they can stay at the top, how long these old legends can compete. So, hopefully, you're tuning for that, and hopefully, you'll come back for season four because there will be big changes, and we're in Europe. This could be the start of us kicking on so yeah stay happy like me stay safe and booed a lovely long time hit that thumbs up get involved in the comments i'll see you soon bye bye